This is me shaving my face for the last time so I can grow my beard back, which is something I'm genuinely not looking forward to doing. This sucks. And as a transgender woman, I really don't like having facial hair. So today, I am taking you on my journey to permanently remove it from my face. And that starts with me having to actually grow it back out. And because of this, today is actually the last day I'm allowed to do my makeup for like quite a few days because I have to literally have a beard. And you know, like, I've tried laser hair removal. That just unfortunately didn't work for me. And I just had to keep shaving every single day, which sucks. And the solution to the problem of me having to shave all the time requires me to have to grow a beard out, which literally just makes me cringe thinking of, like, me with a beard. This is how I prefer to look. Full glam, looking cute, and just feeling happy and confident in my own skin. When I have facial hair, I just don't feel confident at all. I do actually wonder if I could rock a beard with my makeup. I mean, there are some people that can. I don't think I'm just one of those people. I'm gonna actually ask my mom that question. Okay, mom, I got a serious question for you. Because obviously, you know, I have to grow a beard out. My question is, do you think I could be one of those people that could grow a beard but pull off the full glam look? <laughs> like, you know, have you ever seen somebody with a beard but really good makeup? Cause, like, yeah, they're in the circus. Well. I tried. And even though I considered joining the circus just for a few seconds for fun, I went to go see a longtime friend to hear what they had to say about me growing a beard again. So I'm here at Jake's seventh birthday party. Hi. Uh, you, you turned seven, that's what you always say, eight, right? Eight. It's I'm actually it's actually Lorelai's first <laughs> birthday party. I have a question for you. Do you think I would look good with a beard and makeup? Uh, <laughs> probably not. So here's the deal. I actually have to grow my beard back out. <laughs> why? That why is a very good question, which I'm going to explain very shortly to you all. Here we are enjoying Lorelai's first ever birthday, and so many people came out to celebrate her on her big special day. But the best part was seeing her reaction to her first ever birthday cake, and you could tell she was so excited to see it. I mean, look how cool those candles are. Wish Lorelai a happy birthday in the comments. Right now, I'm very exhausted. I had a great day today hanging out with Jake and being at his daughter's first birthday party, which was really cool. As you can tell, I am no longer in my makeup, which means we're getting close to me just having a beard. I just cringe so hard there thinking about that thought. It's literally 2 a.m. and I already have like sandpaper fuel here on my face. Actually, you could probably hear it. And I know by the time I wake up tomorrow, it's literally just going to be even worse. But in the meantime, I'm going to get back to reading this really good book right here and I'll just see you guys in the morning. Good morning, sleepyheads. That's something Ryan Trahan would say, or probably any other Ryan, or just person in general. So, good morning. It's officially day one where I can't shave, and the sandpaper effect has gotten worse. I know the camera probably can't pick it up, but the facial hair is growing, and it's already a pain. Let's just make today the best possible day that I can. I just got out of the shower, and I realized that I can do some makeup. I just can't do full glam today. And my gender dysphoria, which I haven't really had much of recently, is starting to kick in because of this. Tomorrow, I was actually supposed to do something with my mom, but because of the whole entire situation here, I genuinely don't know if I want to go out and public like i know i can wear a mask and all that but i'm just so scared to like go out and have facial hair in public like i get i'm filming this whole entire process and obviously i'm putting it onto like youtube to share with you guys but it's such a scary thing for like me as a trans woman just to like leave the comfort of my home and having the whole facial hair it's honestly just not ideal for me at all like if i could have had it my way i would have chose to have been born a cisgender woman coming into this world but i guess this is just the life path that was chosen for me so these are just pretty much the challenges and things i have to deal with in my journey here in this life all right i'm looking pretty cute for this natural look i'm just gonna finish it off with some kylie clear lip gloss and go from what is that so when i was getting ready to do the lip gloss i took a good look at my lip and i noticed right over here it's starting to get very dark i don't know how well you can see it on the camera but for me in person like looking in the mirror i caught it pretty good i genuinely don't like this at all So to ease my dysphoria caused by the facial hair starting to come in, I spent a lot of time just cleaning my room today and putting away a lot of laundry. And honestly, that was very relaxing. But on top of that, I spent a lot of time today just reading the brand new book that I picked up because I genuinely love knowledge 
and I love YouTube and I love learning more about YouTube to help make the best videos possible for you guys to enjoy watching. I probably spent about a good two and a half hours today just reading to help get my mind off of this thing right here. Because I'm trans, I do suffer from gender dysphoria and I feel like it now just comes in waves at different times and it's caused by different things. And the thing that's making me really sad right now is the fact that I actually have to grow this out in order to permanently remove it. So let me finally explain exactly what is going on. There is this thing called electrolysis which is actually the most permanent way to remove unwanted hair. So what they do is they take this little needle and they shove it into the hair follicle and then they zap it and then after they zap it they basically just squeeze it on out. And because of that over time it actually prevents hair growing from wherever you have electrolysis done. So in my case with the fact that I don't want anything to do with having facial hair this is the best way for me to actually get rid of it permanently. And not only do transgender people get this treatment done also so do cisgender people. And for some cisgender women they deal with a thing called PCOS which is polycystic ovary syndrome and that makes it possible for any cisgender women to grow facial hair. And that is actually why I'm making this video to show you guys the process of everything that I have to go through. So if like in three weeks from now I decide to go get another treatment done and you see me just randomly growing facial hair in a video you know why and you know exactly what I'm dealing with. That is pretty much a wrap for today and when I look at it from like a silver lining aspect I am getting closer to finally having like the treatment done for the first time and then afterwards what's ever left I could just shave it off but there's still a few more days of me just having to deal with this and because of the whole dysphoria aspect I might cry at some point because like a hormones but then b I'm just dealing with something that I just I genuinely don't like and crying is just a great stress release for me and especially in this situation I feel like having a good cry might help. We're gonna get through this. I'm gonna get through this and I'm just glad that I can document all of this for you guys and also myself for like five ten years down the road. Before I turn the camera off to end day one I'm still kind of on the fence about going out tomorrow but also at the same time my mom wants to treat me to something special and I feel like just going out and bonding with her be so much fun obviously for me this shouldn't be something to sleep on but i'm like in a way just so insecure about this and i kind of want to just sleep on it to like figure out my decision for tomorrow whether i'm going to go out in public and deal with this and whether if i'm going to wear a mask or not and i just hope no matter what it all goes well with that being said i'm going to go to bed and i'll see you all in the morning well for you it's literally just like two seconds but you guys get the point Good morning, Saxon family. It's officially day number two of not being able to shave. <sighs> I mean, here's just a little update for you. It's becoming very noticeable. And the sandpaper effect is just, well, yeah. I honestly got some really good sleep last night, which is actually, like, really, really good. To me, genuinely, like, sleep's just very important. And plus, I actually need to be well-rested for today, and that is because I decided to go take my mom up on her offer to go do something, which is actually kind of exciting. And honestly, I am actually, like, very excited just to go have some mother-daughter time with my mom, because this is something I've never done with her since I've transitioned. I am actually gonna leave the house with facial hair. Anyways, I actually need to go get ready right now because it's actually 10 42 a.m and i need to be at this place by noon or my mom's gonna be mad at me but before i get there i gotta go get me some starbucks and before i actually drive through the drive through i need to add these gift cards to my account so that i can scan it pay for it and also get my starby points i also have a mask right here but i don't know if like you guys can tell i mean i can tell looking into like the mirror and i know if somebody was looking at me they could probably tell but for the drive through going in public as much as I, like i'm scared and nervous I'm just gonna drive through anyway without wearing a mask. How much are we gonna get? Hi, can I get a large? Um, oh wow, I just forgot my order completely. Uh, caramel frappuccino, please. That was just completely embarrassing for getting my order. But you wanna know what else is embarrassing for me? Just this whole thing. All right, you're all set. Thank you. Have a nice yeah, one. Have a good day, okay? You too. Mission successful? I think I did it. Oh, that makes me so happy. Okay. That was a huge confidence boost for me. I know like where I'm going next, I'm still going to wear a mask just because I'm going to be there for a while. But like that for me was a huge, huge deal, a huge, huge confidence booster. I just finally arrived to the place where I got to go and do this thing with my mom and I'm very excited. We're going to IHOP for the first time. 
Actually, no, I'm joking. We're going to uh, get our nails done. So I thought I was running late. I just checked to find my friends and I saw my mom's the one running late. <laughs> that makes me just feel so much better. Anyways, it's time for me to mask up, mainly just to hide all of this that's growing in and then go get my nails done for the first time with my mom. So that's exciting. And she finally arrived. Here I am on my way to go inside to get my nails done with my mom. And I was completely nervous because of what was under my mask. But the guy, Tommy, who was doing my nails was super friendly and he was crushing it. And the nails ended up coming out perfect, but there's an issue. My mask literally broke while I was inside. Like the whole side just snapped right off. I'm not even joking, it literally broke and I was like, of course, what is the universe trying to tell me? And I feel like that was the universe just telling me to continue to just show my vulnerability, especially around complete strangers. And because of that, I decided to completely remove my mask and I told the guy, Tommy, who was doing my nails, what I was currently dealing with. But after me and my mom got our nails done, I actually had to question her real quick about why she was running so late. So we just got our nails done for the first time together. That was exciting. Mm -hmm. Thank you for treating me today. You're welcome. Um, my nails literally match your thing. Show off your nails. Now though, I have to like ask you real quick. So why were you so late? At the doctor. Why were you so late? So from the doctor, cause like your appointment was earlier. Cause they took forever. <laughs> That's just your luck. Got an appointment. They take an hour after your appointment. Thank you for yeah. being my number one supporter. Parents should but, uh, support their children. They should. And, and I think that's important. But like, you know, <laughs> this whole issue is just, it sucks. How bad is it? It's not that bad. To me, it's a nightmare. Up next, I'm about to go see a friend, and when I get there, I'm actually gonna put the mask back on real quick to do a reveal and get their reaction to seeing me with facial hair for the first time in about two plus years. Ladies and gentlemen, Jake Duffner. Yeah, uh, so last time you saw me, I was fully glammed up at your daughter's birthday party the other day. You're right, and, the other day. And I told you why I had to grow facial hair out, and you haven't seen me with facial hair a few years at this point. You it's ready? It's been a few years. You ready? Not really, I'm kind of like, oh, that's gonna be weird. I know, you ready? <laughs> I'm so nervous. Boom! Oh! <laughs> <laughs> uh, it's not terrible, I'm Dude, not gonna lie. Really? Yeah, because it's oh. it's like red, so you can't really, like kind of blends in a little bit. Oh, know? thank God. I can't really tell. If I really look, I can tell. I mean, the worst possible thing happened when I was getting my nails done with my mom, the mask broke. <laughs> it was like the universe was telling me, just throw it away, you don't need it. And I'm like, but I need it. I'm embarrassed of dealing with this right now. I'm a mess right now, but that's because I'm helping Jake shoot an Instagram video. Oh, hey! Uh, I just got like murked, murked or dirk. Yeah, stand there. Um, but yeah, we're currently in the process of doing this. They they made sure to get some close up shots of everything right now. This is me just trying to be extremely vulnerable with yeah. everything today, I guess. But yeah, this is going fun. I gotta put my phone down real quick. We're about to retake a scene here. So. If there's one thing I learned today, and I genuinely hope this helps somebody out there, it's don't be afraid of your insecurities and also. Don't be afraid to just go out there and do something. Going into today, I was absolutely terrified, but in the end, it was honestly just a great day. That's because I chose not to just sit here and hide in my room like I did on day one. While this whole entire situation does suck, what I learned is I'm not gonna let it control my whole life. There is gonna be days I'm gonna have to let it grow out so I can do this treatment. Overall, does it suck? Yes. Does it make my gender dysphoria worse? Yes, but that's why they call transitioning a journey because not everything happens overnight. With that being said, tomorrow's actually a very big day for me and I genuinely can't wait to share it with all of you. Is tomorrow day three of having facial hair? Unfortunately, yes. But also, is tomorrow the day that I get my treatment? Possibly, you're just gonna have to keep watching to find out. I'm gonna see you guys in the morning for day three, which is crazy, three days without shaving, but I'll see you tomorrow. Good morning, Saxon family. Today's a very, very special day for me. It's actually a very big day, if I'm gonna be honest, but it's also officially day number three without being able to shave. And that has been getting annoying. Here's an update on the beard growth. I think you're able to tell now that the beard is coming in and I am hoping to get rid of this very soon. Maybe it might happen today. I don't know. You're gonna have to keep watching, but I am genuinely excited to like finally in a way to eventually 
have all of this just gone and off of my face. The facial hair is pretty much at the point where it's no longer considered like the sandpaper effect. I mean, it still kind of makes a noise, but not as loud as it was. It's now just getting to the point where it's starting to like grow. And it's so weird seeing me with like even just this. I haven't seen this much facial hair personally in a few years and hopefully after like the next six months to like a year and a half I don't have any more left on my face but you know what they say you can hope in one hand and poop in the other and see which fills up the fastest it's usually this hand the handful of poop so here's the plan for today I'm gonna get ready off camera and take a quick shower and then we gotta make a pit stop somewhere and then we gotta go to somewhere special and I think that's pretty much the whole day so let's just make a quick pit stop at Starbucks uh, I'm excited to drink this <sighs> once again I got another caramel frappuccino which is by far like my favorite thing to get at Starbucks but on top of that I have to be at this place in like the next 18 minutes or so and it's about a 13 minute drive for me so I'm gonna have to enjoy my Starbucks on the drive there. Honestly, like I'm super excited and somewhat nervous for this thing, but at the same time, it's so important to me. All right, so like, I'd love to just sit here and keep chit chatting with you guys, but I'm gonna be late if I keep doing that. So <sighs> I need to start driving. And finally, it's time for a new journey to begin for me. I'm nervous, but also excited for this next chapter in my transition. Well, here we go, my first session of electrolysis. I'm really excited for it. Wish me luck. Also, I can't wait for all this to be gone, so that's even more of a plus. But it's gonna take some time. Wake up and nothing's changed. I've been gone down, lost in the letters. Trying to get back into place. I've been losing ground in the lost and found because I let it slip away. This freedom just left me haunted And all my reasons start to fade Cause I thought it wasn't worth it Yeah, I thought it was too late I was so burned out Trying to ease my mind Like there was nothing left to say First session is completed. Spent about an hour in the chair and we made some progress. It was actually not painful at all. So just like that, my journey to permanently removing facial hair has started. Quick shout out to Tons River Electrolysis for allowing me to film the process today and being able to share it with all of you. I'm gonna link all their social media accounts down below in the video description. So if you ever need electrolysis and you're from Ocean County, New Jersey, I highly suggest go checking them out. This is gonna be a very long and expensive process to permanently removing every single hair here on my face. I'm not one who does typically ask for help. I know there's been people before in the past telling me that I should start a GoFundMe. Here's the thing, I just genuinely don't wanna start one. Like I feel weird asking people for money you know so if you do want to support me and this journey to removing all of this off of my face i just simply ask for you to watch every single new video all the way through to the end that is literally just the best way to do so without me starting a gofundme for those who do want to support me financially in this process and are able to do it the best way honestly is just by becoming a channel member here on this channel or also by using the super thanks feature here on YouTube. And when you do use the super thanks feature, it'll actually highlight your comment down below in the comment section. From the bottom of my heart, I do just wanna say thank you for watching this video and allowing me to share this very vulnerable thing that I am going through in my transition with all of you. I'm not gonna lie, this was a very hard video for me to make and especially just showing my face again with facial hair and it is something that I just genuinely don't like having. But nothing is as vulnerable as the video of me coming out publicly and I figured if I was able to come out to you guys publicly, I can share this very vulnerable thing that I'm going through with all of you. And once again, I just want to say thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you for watching this video and literally just seeing everything that I'm going through and allowing me to just share it with all of you. Honestly, it wasn't easy to do so, but 
I'm glad I'm doing this because later down the road it's gonna make my life so much easier being more vulnerable like this when I'm making videos for you guys to enjoy. Until next time though, it's been your girl M, keeping it real. I'm gonna log out, I'm gonna peace out, and well, peace. I love you, Saxon family. Find the last scattered pieces of my heart.